it's good. You know it's good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Night Shift. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. First of all, if you haven't already liked this video or subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. Second of all, the pink mist drop is still available at shopthenightshift.com, so go ahead and check that out. Guys, go and buy it because my birthday is next week and I really want a Cartier watch, please. <laughs> so as you guys know, Logan just loves to prank people. He shredded my slushy machine. He brings lawnmowers into my bedroom to wake me up in the morning. Even the day I moved in here, he put a freaking alligator in my bed. And it hasn't been just me either. He even pranked good old feeble Milt in here by accusing him of stealing his Rolex. Dang, that Logan Paul guy, he's a jerk. Well, today is payback day. And payback's a so for the past couple weeks, we've been trialing new chefs here at the Maverick House, ever since our old chef packed up and went to New Zealand to open her own watermelon stand. <laughs> <laughs> so today, Milton called in his good friend, Chef Rush, who's an incredible chef, but he's also a combat-trained military psychopath. He's a tall, hunky... I know! <laughs> yeah, so today's the day Logan learns revenge is a dish best served cold. Are you worried about any of the people you cook for being like boxers and what they might do if they taste the food and they don't like it? So I'm a combatant trainer, level one, two, and three. Okay, <laughs> so he's not worried at all. You like it? It's pretty good. Pretty good? I like it. We had a chef before, dude, so I'm just, I base it like off of that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? She was, she was bomb, bro. Okay, so if she bomb, what am I? I mean, it's definitely good, bro. No, I, I, no, I, I actually would say if she's bomb, what am I? What's the next step last bro? Oh, why are you like... No, I'm asking, yo, because he's like, you like, I mean, seriously, I, I Yo, if you're pranking me, tell me now. <laughs> Sorry. Push up you do that's the push. only time. That's the only time that will ever happen. I promise. Right. I was ready to kill it too. I was. I was like, let's just. I, I, I knew you were going to kill it. The nice, yo, literally the nicest person ever. Bro, I'm standing here like I'm literally like, yo, I'm about to. This dude up as best as, best as I can. <laughs> I told him that I'm like, yo, you understand this kid's got a crazy bunch. He goes, he goes, dude. He goes, I'm a combat trainer. Bro. He's like, this is what I do for a living. <laughs> Did the shop work for you, too? Yeah, right. <laughs> Chop the. <laughs> I took it one out of his book. Execution perfect, perfect. <laughs> All right, so this was supposed to be a segment for the night shift. I brought Logan here. He stole my content. I knew it was gonna happen. He has better camera equipment, better drones, all that stuff. All I have is a G7X. Anyways, these guys from Ruckus Racing hit me up the other day on Instagram. They're like, yo, come okay. down to the track. We're gonna do some drifting. I know you guys have never done it before. I don't know if you're too scared. They said Steve-O had done it. He looked absolutely fucking frightened. And I was like, I don't know these people, but let's give it a shot. And so here we are. Logan's getting in one car. What kind of car is Logan getting into? You guys are both getting in 370s right now. This is our company car, Ruckus Company. And then you're hopping in TJ's 370 as well. Which is right there. So I'm getting into this one. Instead of drifting at separate times, we're gonna be doing it together. So my assumption is we're gonna be really close. Like nuts to butts, like that close? Nuts to butts, dude. Yeah, I don't need to do that. How's that feel? Not good, because I wasn't ready for it. Lot, shattered bro. my teeth, so not only did you steal my vlog, but you broke one of my teeth. <laughs> Do you feel good about this? He has a full face helmet, and I look at you half ass. But why? <laughs> bro, he and his fucking stormtrooper helmet, they give me a little fucking motorcycle helmet. Perfect. Well, let's go hit each other. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> You 
had some dude in the car that kept screaming, bro. There was it was me, what? me the driver, and then it sounded like yes, somebody was screaming in the back of the car the whole time. It wasn't me. Oh no, I don't know who would have been that. Yeah, uh, yeah sometimes yeah. people like they sn they're free riders. Yeah, that wasn't yeah. my boy. That wasn't my boy. My boy don't scream. I wouldn't no. scream like that. It was no, neither no. you guys for sure. <laughs> Happy almost birthday, baby. Thanks, baby. So this is a big debut for the night shift. The first ever appearance. This is Michael, also known as Hey Big Mike Jr. Hi, Michael. Michael looks tired. Michael looks. Nini, get out of here. You're freaking weird. Hey, be nice to your stepdaughter, Mike. She's not my stepdaughter. She's a strange ballerina hooker. <laughs> no, she's not. All right, so we're over here at Amara's house. We got Chef Rush back in the building. The people want to know at any point, were you scared for your life when Logan stepped up to you? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> It was funny. It was cute. It was cute. <laughs> are we really doing this? Do are we really doing this? Yes, we are. Do people that are about the action generally ask if we're really doing this? No, no. <laughs> Why are you guys dressed like Oriental masseuse? <laughs> I don't know. I told Olivia to get pajamas for us, and this is what she turned up. Yeah, for. well, we're having Asian-styled cuisine, Mike. Yeah, the food so is Asian. So we have to match. <laughs> At some point tonight, I want to get a massage, and I also want it to come with a happy ending. I gave you one this morning. That's a good point. Lobster lollipops. Yeah, so you gotta try one. You gotta try it with this. Though. This is the elixir that goes along with God damn! As you guys can see, we got the old night shift sign out, and that only means one thing. We are on the go. We're headed on a little adventure for the next couple days, me and Amara. It's her birthday on September 6th, so get ready to wish her a happy birthday. But also, if you watch Impulsive, some of the other channels, you may have noticed I've been a little off lately. I've just been cranking out vlog after vlog after podcast after podcast, and I think I've started to reach a little bit of a burnout. I need a little bit of a break, a reset. My hands hurt. All right, you're fine. Can you believe I'm turning 22, babe? Oh yeah, I told her also. Once you get to a point where you don't want to get any older, you can start having your birthdays go in reverse. So when you have a birthday, you actually lose a year. Wait, so babe, whenever you're 20 again, will I be a baby again? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And so yeah, I'm using a little bit of paid time off. I don't think we're gonna miss the night shift at all. I think next week we'll be back, same time, same place. Until then, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And once again, if you haven't got the pink mist drop yet, it's only gonna be up on the website for the next couple days, shopthenightshift.com. Go check that out and we'll see you next week. Clocking out. Clocking out. Peace. Michael, now that we have you, do you have anything to say to the Night Shift audience? Michael. Michael. Michael.